okay so uh, in this lecture uh, we gonna learn uh, some uh, topics about the some uh, basic understanding uh, of uh, the network okay so in our uh, today's topic uh, we have uh, to perform the introductory point of uh, of our lan man van pan and some ad hoc network after that uh, we have to learn the different topologies okay so like that uh, wise uh, we have uh, one by one cover uh, all your syllabus okay so our uh, today's topic is uh, the introduction of your network okay so uh, in that network how we establish a network okay uh, so, suppose uh, in our computer lab we have arranged the 20 computers okay so how actually we have to arrange that uh, 20 or 30 computer okay while using the different devices okay so basic question uh, our first uh, point is the introduction of your network okay so what is actually a network okay so basically a network is a defined as a group of two or more computers system linked together okay so only uh, one computer cannot form a network we have we have required one or more computer then the network should be formed okay so the second point of your network is nothing but the uh, different types of uh, networks are there so different types of types of networks are there okay so first point is your lan so what is the uh, long form of lan lan is nothing but local area network okay so after that we have to perform the man okay so what is the long form of man metropolitan area network okay so after that van what is the van uh, uh, description so van is nothing but wide area network okay so after that pan personal area network okay so uh, last and best is nothing but ad hoc network so uh, so uh, we will perform uh, some uh, uh, introductory part of your uh, types of network okay so first part is nothing but the lan so what is local area network okay so in local area network we have used uh, the uh, different uh, computers okay so local area network is basically a small scale uh, uh, building okay so we have to uh, interconnect all the computers using the different topologies okay so that topology part is different okay so we uh, suppose we have the computer lab okay so in our computer lab 20 pcs are there so we have to connect the 20 computers okay using the switch okay so we have the uh, 24 port switch okay so at least uh, we have to connect the 20 computers using that switch means we have interconnect that 20 computers and pass the and sharing the messages okay so in lo local area network your first point is nothing but floor or building okay we have arranged the uh, using the different devices we have uh, interconnect the uh, basic communication medium okay so it is nothing but a single communication medium after that segmentation connected by switches or hubs that computers are interconnected via the switches all the switches are interconnected to each other after that high bandwidth and low latency right okay so here we use the lan cable so it is called as ethernet cable we have to choose the different cable as per our requirement okay so uh, cat 1 is there cat 2 is there cat 3 cat 4 cat 5 5e 6 6e okay so so uh, so on as per our requirement we choose the cable also okay so after that in local area network uh, it is designed for a small physical areas such as office group of the building or factory purpose okay so after that in second point what is the lan lan are used widely as it is easy to design and to troubleshoot this is the most important point lan is used widely as it is to design and to troubleshoot then after that third point 
personal computers and workstations are connected to each other through the lan okay so our personal computer and different workstation are interconnected suppose i have you know, in uh, in laboratory i have the server so all my pcs are connected to the switch and that server also connected to that switch okay so means personal computers and workstation using the local area network we can use the different types of topologies okay so that uh, uh, that part is different okay so we will see uh, the different topologies yeah. topologies means the arrangement of the computers how we arrange the computers in lab okay so using different topologies like your star ring bus and tree topology and hybrid topology also after that in our uh, next point lan can be a simple network like connecting two computers to share the files network among each other while it can also be as complex as interconnecting an entire building suppose uh, in our computer lab we have the 20 pcs and we have to share only one printer okay so uh, in that setting in control panel we have uh, uh, connect uh, one pc and one printer okay after that we have to share that printer okay so in lan local area network we have shared the devices such as your uh, xerox machine also printer also okay so on so uh, different devices we have to share uh, over the local area network so after that lan network can also widely used to share the resources like your printer then hard disk also okay so these are uh, so next is uh, this is the diagram of your uh, lan diagram okay so here in this uh, two topologies are interconnected to each other so first is nothing but the bus topology so in bus topology we have arranged the three pieces okay so one two and three okay and this is our next topology okay so arrangement of next topology is nothing but your ring topology okay so first pc second pc and third pc both topologies are joined through the device is nothing but the bridge means this bridge is interconnection to communicate between this first topology and second topology okay understood all of you okay so after that the lan advantages so what are the advantages of lan so first advantage is nothing but cost reduction through sharing of information and databases resources and network services how we reduce the cost okay suppose uh, we have only one uh, printer okay we have share the printer using the control panel option okay go to the properties of printer and share one printer so all that remaining 19 pcs have to send the print to that printer hence we reduce the cost of our device okay so single printer okay uses the 20 computers okay so after that second increase information exchange between different departments in organization or between individual suppose in college uh, suppose in college level we have to share any data from one department to another department there is a option to share the uh, our hard disk par partitions or a local folder we have share on a public uh, share as a public folder okay so after that third the trends to automate communication and manufacturing process okay so these are some advantages of your lan network so after that the disadvantages of your lan network so uh, in disadvantages point your first point is special security measures are needed to stop users from using programs and data that they should not have access to okay suppose i have share any folder and i have give all the authority to read write and execute permission then it is hazardous so anyone can uh, access my file okay you did that file so the special security measure while uh, when we share any resources okay so after that the second disadvantage is networks are difficult to set up 
and need to be maintained by skilled technicians. So all that uh, different topologies we have arranged in uh, different departments. So it is a little bit difficult to, to wire that uh, uh, interconnection or interpoint between each other. Then third is nothing but if the file server develops a serious fault, all the users are affected. Okay, suppose uh, you have the client server architecture. If server fails, then uh, all that work uh, should be stopped. Okay, understood all of you? Okay, so after that, the applications. Okay, so what are the applications of your LAN network? So one of the most uh, application is uh, of the computer network can become a server serving all the remaining computers called as a client. So software can be stored on a server and it can be used by the remaining clients. Okay, so uh, we have to make in a laboratory also one single server is there and uh, all the resources like your software, important files, we have to save on central server. Okay, so remaining 19 PCs should access that files, save your uh, data onto the server. This is nothing but your client server architecture. Then after the second application is connecting uh, locally all the workstation in the building to let them communicate with each other locally without any internet access okay so uh, we have set up the lab okay suppose uh, uh, lab uh, one person should communicate uh, want to communicate to another lab pc okay so uh, we have uh, interconnected that both lab so uh, while sharing we have interconnected from uh, pc number one to pc number 20 we directly send the message okay so after that uh, third application is sharing common resources like printer okay so we have uh, uh, talk about uh, the resources of your printers also okay so after that the second type is nothing but the man metropolitan area network so what is the use of metropolitan area network so first uh, nothing but it is basically a bigger version of lan so actually man also a lan LAN local area network, but it is bigger than LAN, okay, local area network. It is also called as MAN and uses the similar technology as LAN. So same devices are used in MAN also. So after that, it is designed to extend over the entire city, okay. So metropolitan uh, area network is nothing but the, uh, we have extend the facility to the entire city okay so best uh, example is nothing but your internet service provider okay so it should uh, basically serve the internet all over the city okay so after that fourth is it can be means to connecting a number of lands into a larger network or it can be a single cable after that it is mainly hold and operated by a single private company or a public company okay so uh, actually the man network is bigger than lan in official in school campus we use the lan network uh, in outside of the uh, uh, means we have to perform the large network it is called as a man network okay so uh, after that what is the area coverage of your metropolitan area network so it uh, also covered up to a 50 kilometer okay so uh, second point is digital subscriber line okay so up to uh, we have to share uh, the 8 mbps of data uh, within the 5.5 uh, 5.5 kilometer from this switch okay so we have to arrange the uh, different cabling okay so after that uh, we required the cable model cable modem okay so 1.5 mbps or uh, longer range than digital uh, dsl okay so these are some uh, in current market uh, the different fiber optical cables are there okay so uh, different uh, machineries are there okay so uh, some managed switches are there its capacity is more okay so for the sake of example uh, we will discuss the uh, these uh, digital subscribe line and cable modems. Okay, so after that, uh, the this is the uh, diagram of your man diagram. Okay, metropolitan area network. Okay, so suppose yeah, in this, uh, 
metropolitan area network this is our bus network okay so bus topology is there in bus topology three pieces are there okay so after that we have arranged one router okay so a uh, router is there for serving the uh, internet and passing the packets from uh, inside network to the outside network suppose this is the local telephone exchange okay so after that again one router is there again some uh, different topologies of your there okay so so for base example suppose this is your local telephone exchange uh, bsnl office okay so uh, and this is our school building a uh, sorry college building a and this is our college building b okay so we have to share the internet okay so the bsnl company should provide the internet facility using the uh, uh, id and password okay so we have we have to configure the router okay and connect this router to the local telephone exchange okay and another port we use uh, for the switch and connect all that computers okay so this is the best uh, example of your uh, man diagram okay so uh, some advantages of your man okay so it provides a good backbone for a large network and provides greater access to the wans after that second advantage is the dual bus use in man helps the transmission of data in both direction simultaneously okay so vice versa uh, uh, bus direction is powerful okay so data transmission speed is high in this um, man network a man usually encompasses several blocks of city or an entire city okay so some disadvantages are there more cable required for a man connection from one place to another place okay so as as per requirement lan uh, required less cable but man requires more cable because we have to cover all entire city okay so in our current market we have to use the fiber optical cable for the connection of uh, computers okay so second is nothing but it is difficult to make a system secure from hackers and in industrial graphical regions okay so these are some points so after that the man applications okay so metropolitan uh, uh, area network some applications also there okay so the man 